Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, this is a follow-up video on the first video I made with regard to a starter problem. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, I'll post a link somewhere here. So basically, after about maybe two weeks, this thing finally gave up. So, uh, well, I still wanted to make this video because uh, to some extent I feel that with regard to the starter solenoid, uh, uh, I may have omitted uh, to tell you uh, something there. So this is going to be a follow-up video. So anyway, just a recap. We need to first understand how a, a starter uh, with the starter solenoid works. Okay, it's mounted right here. This latch enters this lever, something like that. So it's mounted like that. Okay, this is connected to the. This is the one that accepts the signal from your ignition switch. When you turn on the key, it's going to transfer current onto here. Okay, and this is the terminal that starts the starter motor. This terminal right here is the terminal that's directly connected to the battery okay so just imagine there's a terminal connected to the battery when you transmit signal right here it's going to power up the the solenoid it's going to pu push this down okay well, I mean pull this down like so pulling this down like so it's going to pull on this lever inside okay so when you pull on that lever this thing will stick out engaging on the drive flywheel and then uh, almost simultaneously although it happens uh, one after the other but uh, in a very brief moment soon as you turn the ignition switch on going to send signal here it's going to basically this a basically a double action solenoid first thing is it's going to pull this down to uh, pull this out okay and once that is done when it's on the down position it's going it's also a relay that is going to transfer the energy from the battery towards here thus turn making the motor turn so what happens is at times when you turn on this uh the ignition switch you will just hear a click so what you often hear is this thing clicking like so okay but you won't hear the motor running so what happens is, uh, I do believe the relay inside here, you know, uh, when you push, uh, when it is pulled down, it's going to switch on these two, connecting these two. That's why power from this, from the, the battery, uh, positive terminal of the battery, is not being transferred here. So that's why you just, uh, we just hear a clicking sound. So anyway, uh, do not mistake the clicking sound that this makes from the clicking sound, the, the relay. Uh, the ignition for uh, the relay for the ignition makes okay so uh, in order to understand that may, might, might as well watch the first video okay so uh, we're going to conduct a few tests in order for us to uh, before we buy this or replace this we're going to conduct a few tests in order for us to ascertain whether or not this really is the culprit so we're not going to waste money okay okay so the first thing that we're going to rule out is to ascertain whether there's really a problem with the starter motor so although i already did this on the first video so again i said that's why it's better to watch the first video first okay so we are going to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the uh, starter motor Okay, so we're going to connect the terminal here and we should hear the motor turning on. Okay, so basically it's working. So there's nothing wrong with our uh, starter motor. Now we're going to bring our attention on the starter solenoid. So the first thing that we're going to measure, uh, test is if this thing is able to pull this thing out so anyway uh, just so you know you need to push this slightly like so because when you install this on the starter motor this piston is going to be in this position i'll just show you okay if we're going to do that and i will connect this 
again this is the terminal from your that connects to your ignition switch see it's not working but again I said you need to slightly give this a push something like that okay okay so you can see I'll try to give you a much more better angle oh, sorry okay see that's the clicking sound that you hear so anyway we are now sure that there's no pro no problem with the solenoid with when it comes to this thing pulling the piston down but like I've said this is a double action uh, solenoid so uh, I'll change angle okay so when this, this thing is turned on it's going to pull this down like so it's supposed to engage a relay inside here connecting these two okay so now we're going to see if there's continuity with this and this actually uh, in the first video I did this but unfortunately I neglected to show you that so uh, my bad I'm sorry so anyway I'm making up for this right now so we are not going to make sure before we're going to replace this we're going to make sure that this thing uh, does not really work okay although it works in this direction in this manner it's able to pull this piston down but like I've said it's a double action solenoid pulling this down it should connect these two okay so we're going to check for continuity okay so this is my multimeter I'm going to put it on continuity you can see that okay so we will connect the probes on this terminal Okay, so the test probes are on there. Now, should we push down on this? We should hear a beep. See? And there's no beep. Actually, I did this. Um, this is why I wanted to make this follow-up video because I neglected to show you this part. So, I'm sorry about that. So, basically, we are no longer hearing a beep. That's why we can just hear the uh, clicking sound. But the motor does not turn because uh, energy from the positive terminal directly from the battery is not being transferred here towards our starter motor that's why we just hear the solenoid working like what I like I've said this is a dual action uh, solenoid it doesn't only pull this down but pulling this down should turn this connect these terminals too so right now I'm sure that this is no longer working so I'll just show you okay, I'll try to remove the piston okay the spring is there you see that nipple you see you see it, it, that is the uh, sort of uh, switch that would when this thing is pulled down this thing is going to push this down as well and it's supposed to connect these two okay so there's no clicking sound okay so now I'm sure that this is the culprit so be right back I'm going to buy a replacement okay so I managed to find a replacement solenoid for this thing okay as you can see now we're going to check again if this thing is working although this is brand new then it should work but we're going to do the same check again okay okay so we're going to check if the solenoid is working like I've said give this a slight push like so so it's working so now let's move on so now let's perform the continuity test on this brand new like we did on this uh, old one okay okay so the test probes are there let's put it on our continuity test and should I push down on this we should hear a beep and we do uh, on this one we do not hear a beep so I do believe that's it I'm going to uh, put this back on and 
do believe that's going to fix our problem but anyway so uh, by the way before i'm going to install this i'm going to apply a few more grease on here just so it would be more slidey and i will avoid uh corrosion okay see see that there's a plunger that will be pushed down when this thing is pulled down okay that's the new uh, starter solenoid installed on our uh, starter so we're going to start this engine up and let's see i'm quite confident that this is going to start one click okay one more okay one click one more one more okay so it's going to start with every click of the uh, ignition switch okay so, like I said that's it so anyway uh, I do believe that's it if you like this video please subscribe and like thank you for watching